Good morning, everybody, and this is Kat. I am Katad and Cooking Mama, and this is Thumper. As I'm getting ready to read the word, she's right here by me. So anyways, it is 1-6-2019, and I'm reading from the book of Luke, chapter 8. And it came to pass afterward, he went throughout every city, the village, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and the infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom were sent devils, and jo Johanna, the wife of Cherusha, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others were ministered unto him of the substance. And when much people were gathered together, and where Come to him out of every city. He spake a parable. And this is the parable that he, he spake. A sower went out to sow his seed, and he sowed. Some fell by the wayside, and was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. Oh, it looks like i got to hook up my phone. So hopefully I can still do this. And some fell upon rock, and some, soon as it sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. So right there, um, he sowed by the wayside, and the fowls ate it. And some fell by a rock, and because it was by, it, it was, um, it, when it sprang up, because it didn't have any soil, it withered away and lacked moisture and water so and then some fell among the thorns and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it so another fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit and hundredfold and when he said these things he cried he had half ears let him hear and the disciples asked him saying what might this parable be and he said unto you it's given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of god but to others in parables that Seeing that they might not see, and hearing that they might not understand, now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. When you sow it, if it doesn't give you branches or grows, then it's you're not getting good fruit. Those that are by the wayside, that they may hear, and, and the cometh the devil, to take away the word, I out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. The first thing is believing and having faith and being saved. There on a rock are they which they hear and receive the word with joy that have no root, for while they believe in the time of temptation, fall away. So if you hear it and you're in temptation and you fall away from, from what's being said, you're not getting it. And they that fell upon the thorns are they which they have heard gone forth and choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. But on the good ground are they which are honest and good heart, having heard in the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. No man where he hath lit a candle, covered it with a vessel, Put it under a bed, but seeing it on a candlestick, that they might enter in and see the light. But nothing is in secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid shall not be known come abroad. So you can't hide things, guys. It all is going to come to truth. It's all going to come out. Take heed, therefore, of what you hear, and whosoever hath to him shall be given, and whatsoever hath not shall be taken, even that which he seemed to have. And it came to his mother and his brother, and he would come at him for the press and it was told by the certain which they said thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to see thee and he answered and said unto them my mother and my brethren are though these which hear the word of god and do it and it came to pass on a certain day he went to a ship and his disciples and he said to them let us go over the other side of the lake and they launched forth and they sailed he fell asleep and they came down to Storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water, and came in jeopardy. And they came to him and woke, and said, Master, Master, we perish. He arose and rebuked the wind and raging of the water, and ceased, and there was calm. And he said to them, Where is your faith? And that 
being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of this man? For he commanded even the winds and the water. They obey him, and they arrived in the country of Gadini, or, G Gadarins, which is over against Galilee. And he went forth to the land and met him out of the certain city, a certain man which devil took time, took a long time, and no clothes, neither abode in any house in the tombs. And Jesus, he cried out. He fell down before them with a loud voice, saying, What have I done? With thee, Jesus, thou Son of God, most high, I beseech thee, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and fetters, and break, his, break the bands, and was driven of the devil in the wilderness. And Jesus said, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils had entered him. And they besought him, and he he would not commanded them to go out into the deep and there was a herd of many swine feeding on the mountain and he sought them that they would suffer them to enter him and he suffered them and he went to the devils of the men and entered into the swine and the herd ran violently down a sheep steep place into the lake and were choked and they fed them and saw what he had done and fled and went and told in the city that and in the country, and they went to see what was done, and came to Jesus, and found the man of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed in his right hand, and they were afraid. And also which saw it told them by the means that he was with, that was possessed of devils, was healed. And the whole multitude in the country of the Gadarenes brought about besought him to depart from them and they were taken in great fear and he went back into the ship and returned back again now the man out of the whom the devils departed besought him that he might be with him and jesus sent him away saying return to thine own house and show thou things god has done to thee and he went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things jesus had done unto him and it came to pass that when jesus was returned the people gladly received him and they're all waiting for him behold there came a man named Jairus, and he was the ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down to Jesus' feet and besought him that he would come into his house. He had only one daughter, about twelve years of age, and she was lying a dying, and he went to the people, thronged him, and the woman having the issue of blood twelve years, had spent all the day living upon her physicians, neither could be healed of any. Came behind him and touched the border of the garment, and immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? And with the denied Peter, and they said with him, He said, Master, the multitude among thee, and pressed thee, and saying, Thou who touched me. And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me. I perceive the virtue is gone out of me. And then the woman saw that she was not hid. She came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all people what she had done, because she had touched him, and now she was healed immediately. And she, he said to her daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace. So just her just touching the man because she believed healed her because she had the faith. The faith of the mustard seed healed this woman. While in yet spake many come out of the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to them, Thy daughter is dead. Trouble not thy master. When God heard it, I mean Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and you shall be made whole. Fear not, believe only. When you believe in God only, you'll be made whole. And when it came to the house, he suffered no man to go in, save, save Peter and James and John and the father and the mother of the maiden, and wept and bewailed her, and weep not. She is not dead, but sleepeth. He also laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead, and, not, and put them all out, and took her by the hand and called, saying, Maid, right, arise. And her spirit came again and rose straightway, and he commanded her to meet. And her parents was astonished, and then he charged them what they should tell no man what was done. So right there he healed the little girl that was that was dead, and um, they were troubled. But because of um, Jesus saying that he was going to do it, he they laughed at him to scorn because she was dead and they didn't believe that he could still arise her from the dead and the parents were so astonished that he jesus told him because of the astonishment that don't tell anybody what what i've done 
So I hope this finds you blessed. I hope you have the peace that passes all understanding. And this is Robin, and I will catch you later. If you need prayer, just comment down below, and I will pray for you. Thank you.